give me a hug. I'm know, so right? excited. This is so wonderful. <laughs> this Truly. is great. You are great. It's oh. fun. Fun to get to hang out. I might kick off my shoe. Oh, I like that idea too. Should we just take off our shoes and get comfortable? I might sit here like just cross-legged on the park bench. Well, so, you know, I'm so excited to hear about your transition because you and I have talked before about just how grueling waking up in the middle of the night was. And you did it for so can, can long. We pass out? Can we pass out? <laughs> you did it for so long, but, yeah. it, you know, there was this transition and it, it felt very much from afar watching everything on social media and everything, like mm -hmm. you were doing this thing to invest in yourself. Did you feel that way? So you mean all the years leading up to? And, and, then, <laughs> making, and then after or making, both? Making that transition, like stepping yeah. away from what you knew, like yeah. what your career was. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's been a whirlwind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie. Um, the, last, the last few years have been a whirlwind and Stepping away, you know, sitting here now, you yeah. kind of go, you know, after you've done any major changes, you know, you go, okay, I'm here. Um, but it was a major change. And at first, when I first decided to take a break from television, step out of television, it was like, what am I going to do? And Jason and I have always been so passionate about do-it-yourself projects. I mean, anybody that knows us, we've lived in construction dust. We've done our own house. <laughs> yeah. We've always wanted to, you know, all that stuff. And we finally kind of looked at each other. And of course, he's a retired Air National Guard pilot. So he was at the point too where we said, what do we want to do? Yeah. You know, what do we want to do? It was a weird question to be it's asking. A weird question. And we just talked about birthdays and ages. You know, this yeah. was, he was turning 50 and this is my year to turn the big... <gasps> 5 0 wow. so in August, you know. So it was like, what are we what are we gonna do? We're turning fifty. Are we gonna switch careers and just try something that we've always wanted to do? And if we fail, we fail. But if we don't, then let's get a fifteen year plan together or so, because sixty five will be here quickly, which right. sounds wild. It is yeah. You know, but it goes like that and, and let's try it. So we just kinda launched it and truly like we have been driving through. We've lived in the West End and Elliott for going on 18 years and our hearts here we're not moving from here our children are here this is the house we brought them home to from the hospital oh. but you know there's there's a lot of things in our neighborhood that we've wanted to change we want to see improve we want to see be better for yeah. everybody and encourage community so that was just kind of the whole whew, you know motivation for going okay what do we want to do let's start to change the neighborhood let's invest in our neighborhood and let's do it and let's use our own money which is how we started um to buy a property and then hopefully go to another one and another one and slowly redo these and put our name on it and if our name is going to be on these houses then it darn well better look good and we yeah. better do it well is it weird um you know getting dusty and dirty and getting your hands dirty and working with your hands in that capacity to yeah. to truly like be hands-on in fixing your community no because we have always you know Jason and and Jason you know you'll see him in the home and, and what we're doing right now we've always redone things and I think going through our own home and redoing it for Bennett after right. Bennett was born and had multiple disabilities as many people know and then having to adapt our own home for a wheelchair we lived in serious construction for nine months I mean serious construction trying to navigate a son with a gravel driveway in a wheelchair Jason's out there with a concrete mixer <laughs> slapping down concrete just to get him up to the top of the driveway you know we're out there I mean half the time I love to be dirty be out in my yard so that kind of stuff was the easy part honestly it's the small business starting up a yeah. business which is more stressful and the hardest part of of everything. Um, I have more just profound respect for any small business owner after this last year and a half than what I ever did. And I feel very naive as to what small businesses go through. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. So I, I just have such an appreciation now and to support small businesses um, as much as you can. Well, you brought up your family. I'm so curious. How is Bennett doing? How's your daughter? Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's um, 160 pounds. He's five foot ten, <laughs> right? <laughs> he's bigger than me. I'm the little mom. Um, Marina's 12 now, so wow. she's almost the teenage years. Bennett's 13. Um, and with, with Bennett, you know, I always say that as as a special needs mom and as a as a caregiving family you know our, our days are 
always like this. Um, that I joke that if we had a GoPro on our head, you know, to show what truly goes on in a day to day. He was up till 12 again last night, up wow. till one. Jason slept on a sleeping bag in the guest bedroom so that I could get a couple hours sleep, slept by wow. Bennett. You know, you're always kind of jockeying everything. You know, what did he eat? How much did he drink? The physical care right. of having literally an adult man to take care of just physically he's heavy you yeah. know and all those things that go in I, I literally climb up in his bed to move him around and I have to manhandle him because he's so big right now we have a sling but, but you know I'm like yeah. I'm like mom's mom's here doodle you know and <laughs> getting I right in. in bed and you know and I get in there and literally move the kid around and roll him if I need to or whatever I mean he's you know <laughs> you know but I mean that's it's like your little mom is here to like you know take care of you but that's what goes into it if I remember <laughs> you know, th there have been some big milestones with Bennett too, because was he? He was not expected to m to make Live. it. Yeah. 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 Not not past. Yeah. Here, you know. And yet here he is. Yeah. Um, he's a teenager. Thirteen years later. Wow. Yeah. No, he wasn't. He wasn't supposed to. Um, during my pregnancy, I always thought I would I would have a miscarriage yeah. with him. Um, there was times I, I actually prayed for that thinking that that would be just because we knew what was coming up ahead well we didn't know what was coming up ahead right but from everything we had been told when I was carrying him that it would be extremely painful for him it would obviously be traumatic when he was born um, we kind of went through all the the, the emotions of the it all. emotions yeah. and and the planning almost for the day that he would pass on the day that he was going to be born oh, and we Kelly. did that so you know when he came out and his APGAR scores were eight and eight and all of a sudden we're in that OR room I mean I can you know it takes me back like yesterday um, and we heard him cry and it was just like life just took a whole nother journey oh, we didn't still know gosh. if we would have him yeah you know but we knew that he was breathing yeah um, and that was the first step and then whew, 13 years later 13 years <laughs> later we're sitting on a park bench talking about it I mean, really, it was an emotional story for her to relive what they went through. And coming up after the break, we hear more from Kelly Fry about how she handled her own fight with breast cancer and the wave of support from the community.